What's up guys? So today I am going to be doing my updated makeup routine. Um, this routine is something that I have been, um, what's the word, have been testing out for a while now. I really like it, but as you can see, I'm going through some uh, skin issues. I don't really know what's happening. So yeah, I figured that today I don't have anything going on, so I just wanted to show you guys my updated routine. So let's get started. Um, so my newest find that I am obsessed with is the Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe, Chamomile, and Lavender. This is so good, and if you like the smell of lavender, it smells just like it. So I've been spraying this on my face um, every day before I do my makeup. And I like to um, have this act as a primer. While I'm doing that, I'm just going to take my Glossier MintBomb.com. I really like this one. So the biggest thing that's kind of changed in my routine has been my foundation. So for a while I was using MAC Face and Body or I wasn't even using foundation or I was using, I think in my last video I was using the Bare Minerals Tinted Moisturizer, but my skin is just going through it. Oh, and I don't know if you can see this, but that boy right there attacked me on air. So that's why that's like that. So my biggest thing that's changed has been my base and I've been testing out a few different ones. Uh, the first one I've been testing out is the NARS Sheer Glow, and the second one is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. Um, I really like the Luminous Silk, and I also like the Sheer Glow. Um, I just like the color of the Sheer Glow a bit better than the Luminous Silk, so for the sake of this video, I'm just going to use the Sheer Glow. Um, I also was using the Too Faced Born This Way. I actually bought it. Um, if you've been watching me for a while, that used to be one of my favorites, but I actually hated it, and so I returned it. And so now I'm tor like kind of torn between if I want to get the Sheer Glow or the Luminous Silk. So yeah, I just have this little tiny sample that I've been using. I need a mirror. Okay, so I'm just going to dot this all over my face and kind of spread it out just a little bit. So for my brush, I've been using this Eco Tools brush. I'm not sure what it is. It's like a stippling brush. So that might be what it's called. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to blend this. So this is what it looks like. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but this thing isn't going anywhere. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. Um, I like the shade of this. Um, I think it's a pretty good color match. It's a little bit lighter than my skin, uh, but we can always uh, bronze it up a little bit. So the next thing that I've been doing is I've been taking this Maybelline Age Instant Rewind Concealer. This is in the shade Light. And I just go like that. One little dab. And then I try to do whatever I can with this, but just, it's not happening. So for underneath my eyes, I've been taking my finger. I find that it's the, gives me the best coverage and um, doesn't leave like any streaks or anything. And I like the way that like my finger will warm it up and melt it into my skin. And then for the rest, I'll just take my brush. Alright, so the next thing that I've been doing is I've been taking this Maybelline Master Contour Stick. I don't know who I am getting back into contouring, but yeah, I just take the little contour side and just go like that, like that, and then I'll put a tiny bit up here, like that. And then I'm just going to take my, oh my God, I'm just going to take my foundation brush and blend that. You know what I'll do? Yeah. Do you guys think that's better? I know it's a little bit dark, but is the lighting better? At least you can see the side of my face. All right, we're gonna try it out like this. All right, so this is the contour done. It's so natural. This was so inexpensive. I mean, I think it was like $8, but so good. Um, 
Yes. Okay, so far you can see All right, next thing I do is I've been taking my Glossier water. I've been using this since I got it. Honestly, I think I said this in my last video. It's not my favorite powder, but it does the job. So I take that. Make sure there's no creases under my eyes from the concealer. On my lids. And I'm taking this BH Cosmetics number six brush. Um, it's like the most perfect size. Fits right underneath your eyes. I just dip into the powder. I've got that much on there, and I'm just going to set like that. And then I'm going to pack some on this little pimple just to try to keep it covered a bit, even though it's like not happening. Really crazy acne isn't really something that I've dealt with, so like my whole life until you know the past year or so and so I just really never know how to cover it properly and so I kind of just don't kind of just like let it be and yeah I just pack this powder a little bit like on my t-zone really but I've been kind of oily lately I don't know what's going on with me but it's been happening so I've been having to deal with that too all right so then I'm just going to very very lightly just set that contour because I'm going to apply some bronzer on top. Okay, so I'm going to take my Sedona Lace 850 brush. I've had this brush literally forever. And I'm taking my Bahama Mama bronzer. Um, to some people this is a contour, but this is so warm on me. It kind of makes me sad. It's super warm. So I'm just going to bronze like that. This really just adds some like life back to my face because with the contour I can kind of look like a little bit of a ghost. And then I put it on the sides of my nose. And I've been having, lately I've been having this spot on this side. I think I've always had this, but I mean, I just recently have really gotten back into doing my makeup, so I think I like forgot about it. I'm like, I don't know if you could, I don't know if you could see it like right there. This part just like doesn't take the product. It's so annoying. All right, now I'm all bronzed up, so now I'm feeling a little bit better. So the next thing that I've been doing is I've been taking this Too Faced, um, what is this? Sweetheart Perfect Flush Blush, and this is in the shade Peach Beach. Looks like this. It's so pretty and so glowy, and um, I love all of, like the colors in here. So just dab, dab, dab. I'm just gonna apply it. See, and you can tell right there it's not taking the product, but what can you do? I don't really care, so. I just love the color. It's so, like, pretty and healthy, and, um, and then I'm just going over it. Like, I wipe off my brush, and I'm just going over it to make it all blended with the um, bronzer. Looks about a little bit crazy on camera, but I promise it's like super natural in person. I think it might just be the contrast from the lights and stuff. All right, next. So, finished my base, so I'm gonna spray my face again with the Mario Badescu. All right, so now while my face is dry, I'm gonna jump into brows. Lately, my brows is something I've been doing again, like I've gotten back into it. So, what I've been doing is I've been using this e.l.f. Um, brow pencil, and this is in the shade Medium Brown like this it's a bit waxy but I don't really mind I find that it does what I need it to do for Z brows I'm just brushing my brows up the next thing that I'm taking is my Glossier boy brow in the shade brown I love this. I've been using this so much again lately. I'm almost out, so it's like really making me sad. Yeah, I've been like really filling in my brows lately, so I feel like so naked without them. Okay, so one of my like holy grail products, like I can't imagine my life without this product, is the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. This is in the shade Hanky Panky. I don't know if you can tell, but I've used it quite a bit. Um, it looks like this. 
swatch it. It's like the most beautiful peachy pinky brown color. It's so pretty and it just works so well for my eyes because my eyes are green. So I just take about like this much and I'm just going to pop it all over my lid. Okay, so there's two different options that I have depending on what mood I'm in. Um, so like if I'm going out or something, what I'll do is I'll use Hanky Pinky and then I'll pop a little bit of elixir on top. It's like this beautiful um, reddish orange color. Um, so pretty and it looks so good with my eyes. And then if I'm going like for an everyday, which is what I'm doing, but I'm just showing you anyways, um, I'll use the shade Truth. And I know that this is like a very popular color. Um, it's so pretty. It's like a very pretty champagne-y, pinky, peachy. It literally matches perfectly with Hanky Panky. So what I'll do is I'll just take a little bit of Truth, like this much, and I'll just pop it on my lid. And it just makes your eyes look so much more like open and awake. So yes, I love this. So the next thing that I do is I move on to lashes. I'm just using my same eyelash curler that I've used since I started my channel and years before that. So I'm just gonna curl these babies. So let me think about like what's some stuff that's going on in my life. Um, so if you're watching Vlogmas, which I'm failing at currently, um, you saw that I went to Chicago. That was really fun. Um, made some friends and I met Daisy. Uh, I don't know if y'all even know who Daisy is. If you don't, you should. Um, her name is Daisy Cash. Um, or Daisy Hoppa, I'm not sure which like her actual name is, uh, but she's pretty popular on YouTube. And uh, yeah, she was so sweet. And I just got lucky that you know I was in the city the same day she was doing like a like a meet and greet type thing. Um, so yeah, and I finished school, not finished. I'm finished with my fall semester. Um, and then school starts on the eighth. Yeah, I just kind of been honestly struggling a little bit when it comes to dealing with not being in school. Um, I feel like that's, I don't know if that's something that anybody ever talks about. Um, I don't know if anybody ever feels this way, but so a little background on my schooling is that my freshman year of college, I went to school full time and was doing great, but I was paying for it myself, but I was also living at home. So it was like easy. It was whatever, whatever. And then I decided to move to uh, Tampa in my semester or my uh, sophomore year and the first semester I went full-time but then the second semester I changed my major completely from nursing to mass communications so the classes I had originally signed up for I had to drop pretty much all of them and I was only left with being in one class I believe so the spring semester I um, was only taking one class I didn't take any in the summer and then the fall semester, I, you know, only could afford to take one class. I can't really remember if I took one in the, in the spring. I don't, no, I didn't take a class in the spring of 2017, but I did take one in the, in the summer of 2017 and I was only taking one. Um, so then I got my dad's GI bill, um, for this semester. So I've been going full time. So that's been going really well. Um, but before that, all I was doing was working. I was working like over 40 hours a week like way over 40 hours a week. And so I'm a very, um, like, I, have, I get distracted really easily. And so to go from, you know, serving and doing all the things I was doing constantly, talking to new people, meeting new people, running around, like doing that, to taking five classes and having to sit in those classes all day, um, you know, for hour periods was so hard for me. And it really took like a huge toll on me and like my happiness and stuff because I found it so hard to like be able to pay attention in class and I was also missing working. And so it was like a huge transition in my life, but um, I got through it and then I got used to, and I was working, I was working like one or two days a week, um, but it wasn't the same. And so I started to get used to school coming home and studying and being in school all day and learning how to focus and all that stuff. So now that school is out for about a month, I'm having to go, I'm having to transition back into working every day, not every day, but you know, five days a week. And it's been so hard. Like, 
I find myself missing school, like missing being in school and like learning and having that routine. And it's like really just like put me through it. It's like I feel super weird. So um, yeah, that's just something I've been kind of struggling with. And I feel as if I'm almost starting to get back into the routine of uh, work, but then school starts again. And now this semester I'm taking six classes. So it's just, it's rough. It is rough, but I'm going to be all right. I'm going to survive. And then um, after, uh, after the spring semester, I only have a year left. Then I'm done and I'll be graduated and then I'll finally be able to do something with my life and move out of Tampa because Lord knows I do not want to be here anymore. Um, so yes, so that's my little rant about school and like what's happening, you know, over here with me. Um, but you know, I'm doing okay. I just, I don't know. I'm just really ready for new things. I get really um, anxious when I'm in the same like routine. And I feel like, you know, I came to Tampa, I've done what I needed to do, and I'm just ready to leave. But I can't do that because of school. And I don't want to go out of state. I mean, I do. Listen, I desperately want to go out of state. But I can't afford out-of-state tuition, like, even a little bit. So, I don't know. I'm just one of those people that, like, after a while needs change. I don't like to get too comfortable. It's It, like, freaks me out. So yeah, it's just like an internal struggle right now um, and trying to like stay happy because I don't know, it's just been really hard. I just, it's just something that I'm really like, I don't know, struggling with right the second, but I'm going to be all right. Everything's going to be all right. I have a really good job. Like I like my school. I, you know, I love my roommate. Like I can't really complain. I have a lot of friends here. I've met a lot of people. But you know when, you know, people around you are doing so many different things and you are kind of like, well, I wish I was doing that with them. Like all of my friends from like high school have graduated college. They're all moving, doing new things. And like, I'm still like over here like, well, I still have a year and I don't know. But I also have to remind myself that not everybody, like everybody's path is different. And a lot of these people who um, like are graduating and stuff, like they, you know, have their parents pay for their school, or they got scholarships, or they have financial aid, and whatever. And I don't. So, anyways, that's my rant. I'm done ranting. So, um, the mascara that I used is my literally all-time favorite mascara. I haven't found one that I like more than this in a long time. It's the Maybelline Great Lash, but it's the Lots of Lashes one. The wand looks like this. It's so good. So on an everyday basis, this would be my end. Like this is where I would stop. Um, and I would just like keep lip balm on. But if I'm feeling like I wanna do it, I'll put on the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip. This is in the shade Magic Wand. This is always perfect nude. So when I was in Chicago, this was literally the only lip product I brought except for like my chapstick. I think this is the most beautiful nude and also it lasts a really long time and it's not drying at all. It looks like that. I've heard that this is a dupe for I think Kylie's Exposed or something, but yeah, I just love it. And if you've been subscribed to me for a long time, then uh, you would know that when I made that ColourPop haul um, like a couple years back, um, I hated this color, but I think like with the way my hair is now and like, I don't know, the, just my taste has changed. Um, I love it now. So yeah, that is the end of my video. Um, this is pretty much everything I do. And I know that it's like actually a lot of makeup compared to what I used to do, but I don't know, it's just what I like. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope that you enjoyed me ranting a bit. Um, and I hope you're enjoying Vlogmas, even though I'm like, <laughs> failing at it right now. I'm so many days behind. Also, I don't know, are you supposed to stop vlogging after Christmas or do you go until the end of January? I really don't know. So I'm just going to keep going till the end of January, even though the videos are being posted so late. Um, yeah, I just, yeah. All right. Well, um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any video recommendations, um, don't be afraid to let me know. And also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys um, in my next video. Bye.